One fine day you realize, to your astonishment, there is no way at all of having your mind anywhere else but in the present moment. Because even when you think about the past or the future, you're doing it now, aren't you? And that results in a very curious transformation of consciousness. You feel that, you, or that the present moment is flowing along and carrying you with it all the time. Just like the flow of the Tao. The flow of the Tao is as it, what we would call the flow of the present. See? And you're with it. There's no way of being anywhere else. The Jung Yong, the book called uh, The Unwobbling Pivot, says the Tao is that from which one cannot deviate. That from which one can deviate is not the Tao. Or to put it into the form of a Zen story, the master Joshu said to Nansen, what is the Tao? Nansen replied, your everyday mind is the Tao. Joshu asked, how do you get into accord with it? Nansen replied, when you try to accord, you deviate. First of all, I'm going to talk about ideas which come strictly out of Lao Tzu's book, The Tao Te Ching. And, uh, of course, the basic thing in the whole philosophy is the conception of Tao. This word has many meanings. And the book of Lao Tzu starts out by saying that the Tao which can be spoken is not the eternal Tao. Or uh, you can, there's a pun in there, which you can't quite um, put into English. You can't give all the meanings. Because the word Tao means both the way or course of nature or of everything, it also means to speak. So, uh, the actual opening phrase of the book, the way which can be spoken, described, uttered, then give it its second meaning, the way that can be traveled is not the eternal way. 